everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Primal Up! Good Jurassic World, as I should say. And today, we have something very special. Because the game has kind of fixed itself. <laughs> so, last time we left off. Um, left off. Left, le last time we left. <laughs> last time we left off. Um... Why did I say off? Off? Last time we left off? Oh. Last... Last time we left off, we lost our crate. <laughs> yeah, nailed it! There we go. So it was the Spinosaur event and the crates just magically vanished. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I never got to claim my 120 odd keys I got for the Spinosaurus. I'm hoping that, you know, this game keeps, uh, you know, how many keys you have and doesn't just waste them after the next event clock's over. Um, but fortunately, a couple days ago, just randomly, key's back. Uh, so we do have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight friggin' crates to unlock. But not only are we gonna open eight crates today, uh, if we have a look at the general missions, as you can see, uh, no, that is, uh, that is a message. Um, I have done medium on every difficulty, and including chapter one, I've done all of hard. Chapter two, I've also done all of hard. So one and two have been completely completed, and now I'm going through three to eight uh, on hard mode. Now, it's kind of tricky because hard mode, they basically, I don't know whether they, they do more damage, but it just seems to be this balance where you, you always lose, if you lose 100 health on no matter what difficulty, you, you, you die, basically. Um, but if you're on easy, they do one damage, and if they're on, you know what I mean. It doesn't really feel like they get more damage, they, the balance just happens. A bit like in like Mario Kart, if you're first, you're actually a little bit slower than who's last sort of thing. Um, and it feels like the same uh, difficulty measuring thing is happening here. I can't, obviously I don't know, but that's what I'm assuming. But not only do we have that, we have our first ever legendary creature! Uh, the Stegosaurus, which you get in the achievements. I finally unlocked it, and already base stat is better than a level 10 rare, which I was expecting. But if you actually take a closer look at Stegosaur, 450 power, you can't argue with, very good. Stamina means how long it stays around for. If we look at Antarctica Pelta, has 475 stamina as opposed to Stegosaur's 200. So not only does this, does this creature, I think cost seven, apparently I've heard it costs seven like bars to do, leaving you to only summon something very small. Um, it lasts for two seconds at level one. It does 25 damage with its tail, whereas Antarctic Pelter does 23. So it, the only difference really making Stegosaur better is that it does two more damage per hit, but it doesn't last half the, the amount of time as Antarctic Pelters. So it's very odd, very, very odd how, how this is working out. Uh, but of course this is level one and we're gonna level it up. Uh, it's also good against the harder, um, like poacher team. So you got Fang Force, Kasparkov, and then the drone one. Um, and the drone one's usually in the harder level. So actually Stegosaur works for this. Um, so we'll level up that. But, but first, before we do that, I want to open these before it freaking disappears again. So let's open our blue crate. So I actually haven't got blue yet. I, I really, after the, the T-Rex crate, the Spinosaur crate, the Raptor crate, and haven't opened the Pachycephalosaurus crate yet, I've never got the creature. I did manage to unlock, um, or not unlock, but get more DNA for the Pteranodon. I think I got eight Pteranodon in the last video, and I got another one uh, in another crate. So, all, all common, but this is all right. It, it's all going towards something. And we've also ranked up our first ever creature, so I can tell you what a ranked up dinosaur looks like. You might have spotted it in the previous screen. So, we've got three of these to do. Uh, it's really good when an event happens, because as soon as you do mission one, you've basically got a crate. Um, oh, what is that? No way, the first crate, we actually got a Stiggy Morlock. Okay, well, there it is. Stiggy Morlock DNA. Wow. We got more of that than we got um, Acrocanthosaurus, which is it's up to, I think. It must be, because I only got two. So let's open up another one. I'm saving the DNA crates, because the DNA crates, I think you get better prizes in. All common? Uh, uh, not really too much I'm fussed about. And the last one for this. And then we've got three of the good DNA crates. I, I think the DNA crates are better anyway. 
Um, so let's have a look. Anything good? Ooh, a Bray. I talked to Pelta. Oh, Havalo Serpile. Oh, okay, cool. Not bad. Right, now onto three of these that I've managed to unlock. So this, these ones, you can actually get the Stiggy Morlock in. Um, but you also, get, you can get Ancanosaur, you can get Pteranodon. You can't get T-Rex, you can't get Spino, you can't get Blue. So it does seem like a lot of the dinosaurs in this game are only available through events. Um, there's only three that are available in the actual, uh, of this sort of thing. Or at least, you know what I mean, like uh, legendaries. And epics as well, you can only get in crates too. So, it seems like epics are going to be a bit hard to come by. So, let's have a look. What are we going to get? Anything good? Ooh, another rare. Uh, Chungkingosaurus, I think that is. Is it Chungking? It is Chungking. We must be close to that now. Right. So, of all of this, I don't know what I want. Because as long as I'm working towards something, I'm happy. And to be fair, I've unlocked every dinosaur that I can do. Almost, um, except for, you know, the one, well, you know what I mean, like in the campaign, <clears throat> except for the last missions, which you don't unlock those dinosaurs until you do them all. So, uh, Hyungasaur, I think that is. The only reason I know that's Hyungasaur is because of evolution, which again has still yet to be credited, which is brilliant. Um, so Dimorphodon, more DNA of that. There you go. Uh, so let's have a look. We go back to our dinosaurs. So what am I close to unlocking? So I've got 8 Tyrannodon, 12 Stiggy Moloch, uh, 23 Chunking, 18 uh, Dimorphodon, 10 Baryonyx, 10 Ichthovenator, uh, but we are really close to Cynosaurus and Proceratosaurus. Both those dinosaurs are ones you can actually get in the game. But um, let's level up this Stegosaur, because why not? Uh, so it gets 20 time, it's also vanished, apparently. All right, then, let's rank it up, shall we? I think every rank, we also go up a little bit in the Sanctuary. So we might as well get it all the way to rank 10. So now its stamina is 428, which is still less than Antarctic Pelter. However, it does like double the damage, which now I can understand why it does. So this is a rank two Trodon. Now, I, I thought that the ranks would actually change the skin and you know, that would be a decent reason to level up the dinosaurs. It's like, oh, well, let's see what this other skin is. Um, but apparently not. So I'm just going to level this guy up so we can get to level 8 Sanctuary. So maybe one more? Okay, one more now? Yep, there we go. Sanctuary level 8! And we got 50 Antarctic Pelter DNA. That's the main reason why I wanted to do it. Because now, um, although... Uh, my Antarctic Pelter. Oh, there we go. We are four off getting this to rank like 20. So he's going to be so good. I cannot wait for that. I'm probably better than the Stego, if we're going to be honest. So I think there might be some missions we could do to just see if we can crank out some Antarctic Pelter DNA. Well, have a look. Oh, no. Is there? I don't think there is, actually. Damn. Nuts. Okay, well, anyway, we got level up a companion dinosaur. Oh, one key. Sweet. So, how about we do a mission on, uh, not easy, not medium, but on hard for chapter three, because I haven't started this yet, and switch out something. So, at the moment, the power level's looking medium, so we'll switch out. Um, now, the Hamalocephaly is four, then you got five, five. Now, if we take a Hamalocephaly, put in Stego, seven! Oh! Now, what I like to do is have Kano and Dr. Pelda out straight away, therefore it's ten used. But if I have Stegosaurus out, Apparently this is easy. Um, I don't think it is because my guy isn't is like only level 23. Um, so, uh, damn, damn, damn. We're, we are also like a couple of days away for unlocking Deinonychus on the daily reward things. So in a couple of days, we'll probably showcase that too because he's actually not. If we scroll down, Deinonychus isn't in here. But, oh, hold on, I'll just, I'll just show you. But if we go in here, three more days, Deinonychus unlocked. Yeah. Oh, it's Velociraptor DNA. Oh? I didn't even realize I was getting Velociraptor. That's, that's Deinonychus, though. Maybe maybe there's a mistake there. Okay, anyway, yes. We were going to switch out a Malocephaly for you. The only other options that we can put in for a level 3 is probably Draco Rex. Um, Draco Rex or Dracovenator. That way we can have a Stego and that. But... The thing is, with my veterinarian, there's a chance that when something, a dinosaur kills a dude, um, I get full 
uh, refill. So if I use seven on a stego, then it kills something. And then I get 10, I could use Kano and on Toxic Pelter instantly. So it's, it's worth a shot. Now let's see what a hard difficulty uh, chapter 3 looks like. I also want to do a hard difficulty on the final, like on chapter 8, just to see what that looks like. Because the rewards you get for these are amazing. But it does lead me to question, once you've done these main missions and you've got all these amazing rewards, the only way to get um, dinosaur experience or handler experience is to do the either daily missions or the, um, or the get DNA. Uh, missions which don't give you very much at all especially if you've done everything it's kind of like as as you progress you need more and more xp to level things up and then all of a sudden the like uh, the, oh God, the xp you get just drops and it's like well you're just stuck up there so we've got raptors of fine force activity in the air of reports <clears throat> my bad <laughs> i got the frick in my throat <laughs> oh dear right so uh, chapter three mission two so there it is. There's Stego. <gasps> I can't wait to see you, baby. All right, let's go, Stego. Go! Oh, you, well, it's it's not bad. Oh, it's absolutely massive, though. Right, he should last as long as an Toctopelter, which isn't a crazy amount of time. Um, and there we go. We can we can bring in everybody now. Yes! Look at my dinosaur team. The swipe on the Stegosaur is huge. Look at that! I didn't even have to shoot. Boom! I not even... Oh, they're terrified. Probably of the Carnotaurus. Oh, yes. They haven't even fired once. That intimidated. Right, well, um, everything's leaving me now. So, uh, uh, now they might want to fire on me. Yeah, go on. Give them a bite. Nom noms. Nom noms. Yes. Sweet. Okay, well, wait, because Stegosaurus is pretty slow. We'll wait till we get close to another, uh, another, there it is. Hopefully it'll come in behind. Oh, yes, that's right. Whoabosh, yes. Now, I think it'll do more damage to the, um, not these guys. These guys are like Team Rocket. What, 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 what other teams do you have in Pokemon? God knows. Team Flare. It was Flare one. I feel like Flare was one. But these are the, the easy boys. Yeah, the only saving grace for the Stego, I guess. It's not that bad, I will admit. Level 10... The only problem is, at the point I am now, that I've, I've, you know, I've unlocked a level 10 Stegosaur, um, is that I'm probably going to be getting level 20 rares, or at least a level 20 rare um, Antarctic Pelter, which means that, um, oh god, let's, uh, let's see if the uh, Stegosaur is actually going to attack somebody. You're going to attack this guy? No. It's going to burn? Nope. Don't want to do anything? Ah, you see, now sometimes this happens in the game where you summon a dinosaur and it does, it does bugger all. It's brilliant. I love it. It's the best thing in the world. Right. I mean, if it comes in instantly, it's probably going to do an attack. There you go. And again, go and kill some peeps. Whoosh. Kind of, I just want to see him, like, get some XP back. Although, saying that, I this this seems relatively easy. I haven't taken any hits yet. Um, go on, do a swing. Yes. I, I kind of want to take a hit to see how much damage I take. Because I am curious as to whether having, like, low-level dinosaurs means that I personally take more damage. And that's the way the game works it out. Because this is, like, really easy. I'm just running about doing nothing. Um, I mean, just taking a few pot shots here and there. But pretty much, I'm, I'm just like, go on, hit me. Okay, 24. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That, that's a lot of damage. I think. I'd like to try it. Um, if uh, it was just, you know, really low-level dinosaurs. I'd like to try that. Oh, no! It's got something trapped! Oh, is it this one where we, where we like, capture a dude? Rookie one! Oh, wait. Where? Stegosaur, come on! Join the fun. That guy's got a shield. I don't like them. Yes! Now I can shoot him on his side. Whoosh. So I'm, I'm kind of waiting for my bars to fill up, but I think it's like there's a 10% chance of me getting a full refill. Um, but we are going to get a, a, so much stuff for this, for completing this one. Because it is like hard difficulty. But I do want, like you've seen the difficulty of this, right? I want to show you 
you know, what the difference is between... Oh, God, he's completely out of bounds, that guy. Get back in here. Thank you. Yeah, I want to show the difficulty between this one, which is a chapter three, and chapter eight, the final difficulty. I think I've actually already done one because the rewards are just, like, so much better. Um, and I do want to try other handlers as well. Um, but it's just, like... At the level I'm at, the guy I've got is just so much better. So much better because he's the only sort of dude that allows you the ability to use these really expensive dinosaurs and possibly get all your stuff back. Because um, if we look at handlers, like we go on him, uh, restore AP, which is action points, when a companion defeats an enemy. I've got an 8% chance of getting that. So there is a small chance I can heal myself when I summon a dinosaur and not only that, but this other thing, which means that Sukumimus, Pachycephalosauruses, and club tails also take less damage. Um, whereas, uh, what's it called? Adriana, hers is Spitters, Pteranodons, which aren't the best. And then Stegosaur, so the only reason to take her might be just to make sure your Stegosaur lives a little bit longer. And this guy gives you Raptors, Triceratops, and T-Rex. So... He's technically the best for dinosaurs, I would say, followed by Brody, and then followed by Adriana, which is absolutely pitiful. Um, is there anything I can level? No, we're good. But I got 9,000. Everything's on, like, 25. I don't want to level up one guy so much, because I've seen that eventually I'm going to stop getting all this XP, because I'm going to do everything, and then I can't get any more. So I feel like it's better for me to just max out everybody equally. So I will give her a good few levels here. There we go. So we'll take her to 21. And now she's a visor, which means a chance of applying bleed. Which again, is it really worth it? I mean, we'll go from like a 25% chance to now a 37% chance. So an increase of 10%. But again, I'd rather have get all action points back than put a bleed on something. Um, so now she's level 21. So... I'll give her a shot. I feel like I'm probably gonna die. Um, what's really good about this game, though, is that you can just give yourself battery. So let's say um, I'm not gonna play it today, but I'll have time tomorrow, but I'll have loads of time tomorrow to play loads. So what I can do is today, I could just buy um, or do five lots of 40. So I can get 200 batteries worth, which is 20 levels. Um, and then tomorrow I could do that again, which is 400, so 40 levels. So I do like that, that there's not a limit and there's a hard limit, a bit like in Jurassic World Alive, where there's only so many darts you can get now. So we'll go into hard. So, ah, uh, I don't like that. No, I don't like these ones. But we'll do it anyway, because we are very close to unlocking this guy. So upgrade handler equipment, done. Uh, so claim another one and claim another one. So this is going to be the only way to keep on getting Stegosaur DNA, but for completing the hard missions, you get three each time. So what's that? Three, six, nine, three, six, nine. So 18, right there. 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. But you need 70 to unlock, like to get an extra rank up. And maybe that'll change when the game releases, but let's try it. So we were on easy and just below easy. Whereas now we're just ab above easy like their power level so the difference between chapter three and eight is literally nothing unless it's just for this mission two specific so we could get up to six sino seras or whatever they are right i am very tempted she has more power so hopefully that means they do less damage really don't know though uh, I'm, I'm curious we'll find out we'll find out Okie dokie, let's go! I've never used this person before, so I'm a bit hesitant. But I do know that Stegosaurs take less damage. So, oh, oh, I put bleed on. I, I am very worried about my health though, because that's one thing I know she has terrible, or at least the base that was. I didn't check it uh, once I upgraded her a little bit. Right, okay, let's get uh, Antarctica Pelter. Oh yeah, instantly kill the drone. Very good. Oh, oh, and the bleed. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I haven't taken a hit yet. So maybe she's good. I don't know. I seem to be able to absolutely decimate people, though. Ooh. Okay, we are in chapter three. Uh, oh, sorry, chapter eight. Okay, okay, we go. Sniper bullet. Oh, I, I, did it hit me? I don't even know if it hit me, though. It's got to rise. You know what? I'm pretty confident. Just, just a good couple of few shots there. Um, I do want to check how much uh, DNA we get from 
analyzing footprints. So here we go. How much do we get from this? 100. So the max you can get permission is 300. As opposed to doing, you know, getting three freaking thousand. So the game will get grindy once you complete all the missions. Which is a, it's a bit of a shame as long as it doesn't change. Hopefully it does. Let's just kill that drone first. Kill this dude. Apply some bleed. Um, okay. Um, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Did Stegosaur even do anything there? I'm just going like... Go on then. Shoot us. Go on. Oh, my God. Leveling her up is... Yes. I mean, I, I, I kind of didn't want to think that the last, you know, handle you unlocked was the best. Because that's so cliche and, like, bad game design. But I just from, like, it just seems so basic. Like, you know, if I was making a game, I'd make, you know, the last person you unlock seem the strongest. But if you applied certain upgrades with other ones, they would actually be better, or depending on what you want to do, or what your playstyle is. But it honestly feels like, nah, she's just best. Yep. Like, this rate of fire, the best dinosaur that I can lock at the moment, I actually make tougher. Uh, this bleed seems to be applied pretty quick because I do three shots. So each shot is 26 or 27% chance of me putting a bleed on. All right, now let's see how good you are against facing off against a dinosaur. Let's see. It's a good job they... Oh no, she, it kind of moved. It kind of moved its uh, spitty attack there. Yep, yep, there we go. Just just keep shooting at it. Yep, nope, nope, just hide behind. Wow, okay, gotta wait for it to come back. Just killed, yes. Okay, fingers crossed, we get four DNA from this. Chances are we might not get, we might get nothing. But if we get four, we've unlocked it. <gasps> Please. Our survey says, what do we get? What do we get? Tell me what do you, see what I mean? You see what I mean? It's like, eh, you might, you might get four, eight or six or whatever it was. One. You get one. Right, okay, so let's try like a proper mission. What's the difficulty on this? No. But look at that, 6,000. And you get oh, you get 300 per mission. But on the regulars, these ones that you can't redo, six freaking thousand. I am curious how this game's gonna go. I mean, they are like releasing dinosaurs very slowly from what I'm, you know, playing it and stuff and the events and things are quite hard to get DNA from. Maybe you unlock one. Yes, but it's, you know, to unlock a, or rank it up to level two is so, it's gonna be so difficult to do. Uh, I do want to check what my next rank is, like for Sanctuary, what the reward is. Because I was quite surprised to see another Antarctic Pelto at 50 DNA. They're using traps now? Oh, for God's sake. It's just filler. I was hoping for some sort of narrative. But honestly, I don't even remember the story of this one. I really don't. Like, was it? didn't Adriana have her own, like... She had her own uh, 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 prerogatives and stuff. She was like, this will help me with my own mission. And I don't even think we ever found out what our own mission was, if I'm going to be honest. All right. Go on, Stegosaur. Oh, he's scared. He's gone. Walkies. Bleeds, yes. So bleeds good because it does do a certain amount of damage, like a, like a, a regular. Um, like it doesn't do a little bit of damage. It does a lot of damage. And it doesn't matter how strong the enemy is, they take, like, a percentage of damage. That's what I'm trying to say. It's hard to talk! I don't know how I got this far. You should see me when I don't record. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright. Let's go this way. Come on, Stego. I have seriously not been hit at all. This is completely the opposite. I mean, I guess they're all focusing on the Stego. And yes, yeah, Stego's dead now. Okay. Wait! You did not just do one damage to me at a bullet. No way. This is the hardest difficulty. She's only like level 21. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. Go on, somebody shoot me. I want to see how much damage you guys do. Go on, shoot. They do nothing. This is like... I mean, yeah, it's technically like... You don't even need to heal, man. I was using a 25 veterinarian, and for whatever reason, I was being hit like a tank. But using her? There's no perk she has on her to take less damage. It's it's only because she's 200 extra strength that it nullifies um, how much damage the enemy does because the game thinks it's easy. 
So, wow, it doesn't matter about you. It only matters about your base strength for your team. We broke the game, guys. We, we found it. We cracked the code. It doesn't matter about your dinosaurs. It doesn't matter about the person you use. Just oh, what matters about is the power level. If your power level is much higher than what you're taking on, even on the hard levels, it, it won't make a difference. Look at this. Look at this. I should be absolutely being killed here. And yet they do like one damage to me. This is the hardest difficulty. Oh, also, I'll tell you what. I'll show you a pastime that I've been doing that's loads of fun. Um, oh, oh, there's people over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, oh, this will be fun. Right, okay, let's do this. So we'll do it for the next one. So, in order to make this entertaining for me, because I've, I've been playing this in my own spare time, in some case, hours on end, just to, you know, grind and unlock stuff, to showcase you guys, because who else is doing it? Who else has got time on their hands to do it? Nobody, I'll do it for you. I'm your friend. But, oh, I can't laugh because I'll cough. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, what, I, what I have been doing, I found a, I found a funny tactic, so I'll, I'll show you this. It, it makes it interesting somewhat. Uh, may as well, yeah, we'll just... It, it's only five amber, that's okay, just go ahead. Um, I, I mean, the thing is, when it's, it comes to these games, I always think, no, no, we'll wait. I won't need to spend amber, but... You get amber, like, in every level. So it on, it's actually really good. Hopefully they don't change that, because that's okay, because you can wait and keep amber, or you can keep on playing. That's good. Don't make it a case of... Oh, well, you want to keep playing? Um, yeah, you're going to have to pay, like, a fiver for that. Whereas this is fine. But I feel like some games are, like, that cutthroat. It's like, nah, nah, can't do that. You're going to have to give us money. Come on now. Pay up. So I'll show you. Th this is great. I, I've, I got some good screenshots for this. Or, like, some fun times. It was like, and the game lagged to heck. It was, I mean, it's the only thing you could do. The game doesn't give me... Uh, different things to do. It's literally the same thing over and over. So I've had to make my own ways of making the game interesting. I'll show you how you do it. You ready, guys? So you see all these enemies, right? You see them. You see them. See them? Right. There you go. So uh, this guy, uh, yeah, he'll hit me once. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, we'll find a way. Yeah, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. One damages. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. That's bad, though. Being on fire is very bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, this this is not so good now. I did not mean to get stuck behind a... Okay, we're going to have to kill a few here. We're going to have to kill a few. Hopefully, one of them drops, like, a crate, like a health crate. Come on, drop a health crate, please, you buggy. Damn, damn. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, health crate, please. Drone, drop a health crate. One of you. No, I don't want coin. I want a health crate. Oh, that's a normal crate. No! Dodge! What? Although I do want that, so we will we will take that. Ah! No! Stop hitting ones on us! Oh god, there's so many. There's so many. So th this is how you make the game entertaining. You oh Jesus. Okay, we're gonna need backup or else we will die here. I'm very Oh god, the amount of ones coming through is is the issue. Oh god. See if I was a veterinarian, I would just be like summoning dinosaurs. There it is! Yes! So this is the fun part now. It's like basically a million guys. Go on, Ninson! Yes! This, oh, wait, where is, where is everybody? Are they all down here? Yeah, come, come on, Nin. Fighters, take us on. Ah, big brawls, yes! Although they're all staying away because they're scared of the Carnotaurus, which is interesting. Oh, it's good they got distracted. Yes! Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Don't be scared of the T-Rex. Come on. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll move up. So when once the Carnotaurus goes, they should start following me again. Da, 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 da. Come on. Come on, Nin. Come on, Nin. Yes. Oh, oh, that was stamp. That was not good. Oh. The ones and the twos. Yeah. Sometimes they do friendly fire on each other when they do that. Which is interesting. Here it is. Right, now, normally, I would have ran past everything, and I would be fine. Everything would be coming on to, like, they're all coming on to me now. No! So now we have so many, and the thing is, we need... Yeah, this is bad. Okay, this is bad. Right, maybe... I mean, I've never done it with this character before, so, uh... Yeah. It was just do a huge... Oh, this Stegosaur died in, like, one hit. Yep. 
keep going. Keep going. We got this. We got this. Oh, roll out the way. Oh, God. There's so many of them. No. Oh. 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 I mean, if you roll, you're okay, actually. See, in this way, it's actually kind of fun. It's like a mini boss level, in a way, where there's, like, so many people. And also, I'm quite happy that this game, admit, you know, it is low, low, uh, low spec, but it ha can have so many uh, characters and enemies on screen at once, which is quite fun. Oh, he, he's the mission, I see. Uh, the only problem with this now is we will have a bunch of enemies all around the map. Um, or at least there'll, there'll usually be one. And th another thing I don't understand is sometimes I'll be wanting to shoot someone, but I'll, my character will be focused on shooting. Like, let's say I want to shoot behind me now. I'm trying to get there. Until that person dies or I get so far away, it won't change. There's no way for me to uh, change that. And actually, no, we're okay. Sometimes, like, one doodle gets stuck at uh, the back of the map and you have to go fetch him. And the arrow messes up. All you've got to do is, like, go backwards. Because I think it's pathfinding and all this jazz. Um, but didn't happen that time. So, yeah, that, that's how, what I do to make this game somewhat interesting. Just a little bit. And I am going to now continue doing this. We'll unlock the... I thought it was Deinonychus, but maybe it's something else. Um, but, because it, it doesn't appear. It doesn't appear on the thing. Uh, we also got a quest. <gasps> wow! We did a thing! Brilliant! Now, look at that dinosaur. 172,000. So, what sanctuary? And next up, we get one key. Are they just recycling? They must be. Like, it, it must be these sanctuary wards are the same every time. Well, anyway, guys. We're gonna leave it here. But if you enjoyed this video, and next time I see you, we'll have some other dinosaurs to showcase. We'll probably have, like, the final ever missions to do and some more crates to open and possibly the game will fully release soon and maybe there'll be more stuff to do i bloody hope so because at the moment i've done everything and i have barely any of the dinosaurs unlocked but if you enjoy the video leave a like until next time i'll see you cuties later oh bye bye